Next, let's tell our Remember button what we want it to do. And of course, anytime we want to work with a button, we want to figure out how we're going to access it. And in this case, we're just going to click on it. So we'll pull out a Remember button dot click, and then we'll start telling it what we want it to do. So we're going to go to our Remembered Address Data Label and pull out a dot .text block. We'll plug that in here. And then we're going to grab our location sensor blocks here and say that we want the dot current address block. And after that, we're going to go get our latitude and longitude text blocks. So we'll grab remember lat label dot text and remember long label dot text. We'll plug those in here. And then we just want to attach our location sensor latitude and longitude respectively to those blocks. So we'll find our dot latitude connect it to the lat label and our dot longitude and connect it to the longitude label. All right, so next we're going to work with our tiny database and what we're working on right now is the remember button. So we want to store these values. So let's go find our tiny DB one and you have a couple of options here. You can dot get the value or you can store the value and we want to start storing the value. So, I actually need three of these blocks, so I'm just going to do a quick little copy and paste and we'll plug those in here. Now we need to fill in the tag and value to store sockets for each one. And just to show you what we're doing here, I'm going to grab a couple of text blocks, one for each of these, and I'm going to plug them into the tag socket here. And I'm going to change these. Number one is the address. Number two is going to be lat for latitude and number three is going to be launch for longitude. So we've got these tagged. We need an address which will tell the person where we're at. And for the GPS capabilities, we need a latitude and a longitude and we've got those set. Now we just need to tell the tiny database what values we want each of these to store. So as you might guess, we want this one to store an address. We want this to store latitude and we want this one to store longitude. Now, where do you find those? You find them in the location sensor again, because again, we're using the location sensor to essentially sense our location for lack of a better phrase. So for our address, we want it to sense our current address. So we'll plug that in there. That's the value we want to store. And for the latitude, you can pretty much guess what that's going to be. We want it to store the latitude and for the longitude, we want it to store the longitude easy enough. So we've told the remember button what we want it to do. And the last thing we need to do is say to app inventor that we want the directions button to be enabled. So we're going to go find our directions button. And so we want directions button dot enabled. And we want to set that to true because we do want it to be enabled right now. So we'll find our logic blocks, pull out a two block and plug that in. So when we click this remember button, the location sensors current readings are put into the remember labels and stored to the database as well. The direction button is now enabled and it now makes sense for the user to click on it to see a map. Although at this point, since the user has just tapped the remember button, they're still in the same location. It's not going to make a whole lot of sense until they actually move to another location and retrieve that data.